YouTube, what's going on? Era of Carthage here, and I know things are crazy right now. People are thinking about um, how to keep themselves healthy, and there's a lot of bad news going around. Let's let's do something here. Let's let's have some fun, and let's think about something fun you can do for yourself. Now, regardless of the health situation going around the world, if you live in the United States, it is still tax season. By April 15th, you have to file your taxes, and um, a lot of people get a tax return each year. And they may wonder what to do with that tax return. They may spend it on eating out. They may use it to pay bills. They can use it for a lot of things. If you have been saving well and you get a tax return and you have been wondering about whether or not you want to, like, say, get into a gaming computer, that's what this video is about. A tax return is a great way to get into a gaming computer. Fun, fun story. A tax return is how I purchased the first gaming computer that I had that allowed me to start my channel. So that's why I kind of thought this would be a cool video to share with you. MSI asked me, hey, um, let us know what ideas you have for how to, you know, help us share products with people in, in ways they might be interested. Well, building a computer to um, be able to game, and I didn't know it at the time, but later be able to stream, is kind of a cool thing you can do by yourself um, that allows you to do something fun, and also it's kind of a low-risk investment because a computer is good not just for gaming, but for your school and for everything else you need to do on it as well. So this is going to be all about how to use your tax return, or if you've just been saving money, how to build a smart computer for gaming and streaming that, of course, will also work great for any of your school, household, or whatever other needs you have for it. So I'm going to do a three-part video series. This is the first of that series discussing how you build this computer and the parts and why. So again, this video here, what are the parts? I'm going to show them to you. Why did we pick them? All right. The second video will be the build. The third video is going to be to teach you how to stream. Um, so yeah, I'm going to teach you how to record videos and how to stream, how to upload it to YouTube. So it's a three-part series. So you may even be able to use your tax return not only to have some fun, but see if you can make any money streaming and stuff like that. Maybe it's a way. And like I said, if you don't make anything on it, fairly low risk. You still get to enjoy it for gaming and you still get to use it for all of the purposes for work and, you know, online banking, emails, whatever else it is you need to do with it. So let's get things started. I'm going to jump over to some parts list here in a second. But again, the focus of this computer is gaming and streaming. It's going to be focused on 1080p. Now, it could have the capability to play some stuff at higher resolution. Uh, but you want to decide these things before you build. So we're going to focus on 1080p, high settings to get a great experience and have enough power left over to record and stream. So let's jump over. I've got some parts list put together for you. Here's the first one. This is the cheaper version and can you build a, a computer even cheaper than this just to game on? Sure. But when we're considering that we want to have enough power to stream, I think this is a great level to come in at. Um, you know, this is about $884 right now. It's a Ryzen 3600 processor. It's a 6 core 12 thread. You get the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max. This is the board this is going to be focused on. We'll talk more about it. But this build gives you great flexibility. It's going to be fantastic at gaming. It can still stream, but it doesn't overspend. Now, I'm going to build it this way. And the reason I'm going to build it this way is because I want to focus on making this computer more upgradable in the future. So I've thrown in a better cooler that will be better, even if we want to upgrade processors later. I've thrown in a better graphics card, which gives us even more power for recording and a different case. Um, some, some of this is necessary, some isn't. We'll talk about it in a little more detail, but here's the two versions of the PC that I would recommend. You can find these links in the description. You can go check it out yourself right now. Let's start with the motherboard. Why, what is the motherboard? How does it impact your choice um, in, in terms of building a computer? A motherboard is the base of your system. It's what your processor, your RAM, and your graphics card, and everything else all plugs into. The B450 Tomahawk Max allows you compatibility with all three generations of Ryzen processors, so it gives you a huge selection of processors to choose from, and it works great with all of them. So MSI, this is really a fantastic board, and I'm not the only one saying it. If you want to go look up independent reviews, this board is widely heralded. It's probably the best value board out there for Ryzen right now. And remember the purpose of this build. A great gaming PC that's also good at recording and streaming and will be very upgradable in the future. This motherboard provides that. We can upgrade all the way to a 16 core 3950X. It may even have compatibility with fourth gen Ryzen. We'll have to wait and see when that's released, but even now, there are already lots of upgrade paths for you as far as processor, or 
You can even downgrade off of what I'm showing you here and get a cheaper second gen Ryzen and later upgrade it. This board has massive flexibility. On top of that, you get four RAM slots, so you can fit a lot of RAM. It can go all the way up to 4133 megahertz. It has an M.2 slot, so you can get a blazing fast SSD. It's got all the fan headers, RGB headers. It's got extra PCIe slots for expansion. It has plenty of SATA ports for hard drives or optical drives. Um, it's got everything you need. It is a basic board, but don't be fooled. This board has everything you need to game like a pro. So that's why this is gonna be the base of our build. It's gonna give us huge flexibility and it's gonna let us build an awesome Ryzen system without having to break the bank. So this is probably one of my favorite motherboards out there and I'm extremely excited to get to do this build with it. For the processor, I've chosen the Ryzen 5 3600. This is a great processor for gaming. There's been a lot of enhancements made in this third gen Ryzen. It games right up there with Intel but it also has six cores and 12 threads, and it's all for around $200, sometimes a little under if you get lucky. It's easy to keep this processor cool. It comes with its own cooler, which does work, and in the cheaper build I showed you earlier, I'm gonna be using that, but for the build I'm doing, of course I have a different cooler, but the, this is a great value processor. Fantastic at games, pretty good at workload stuff like video editing, and the price is right, so you really can't go wrong with the Ryzen 5 3600. So definitely uh, excited to throw this one in here. It's perfect for this build. Now as for the graphics card, in this particular version I'm using the uh, MSI uh, NVIDIA RTX 2060 Ventus Edition. The 2060 is a powerful card. There is a newer version of it. It's the 2060 Super. You can look at that as well. This one right now was retailing for somewhere in the 300 range, but it may also have been replaced. So just check the prices. The 1660 Ti is a cheaper version of this that's also pretty good, doesn't have the RTX stuff. But this card has great power for editing, good power for streaming, and great power for gaming. As far as a power supply, um, MSI sent me over this Corsair RM550X. This is a great fully modular power supply. You don't have to have a fully modular power supply, um, but this one um, is, it just makes it a little cleaner to do your build. 550 watts will be plenty for the processor and even the beefiest of graphics cards right now. I think if you went super crazy, you might need something bigger, but you know, this will be upgradable in the future as well. Now, as for the cooler, I'm gonna be using the Noctua NH-U12S. This is a great cooler. Again, this one's heavily reviewed. It is not cheap, but part of the reason I got it is that even with the big boy processors, this thing will keep them cool. It may not let you do tons of overclocking with the big boy processors, but it probably would work to overclock just a 3600. Noctua makes great products. This thing's very high quality. I'm very excited to get to use it here too. Now as for RAM, I didn't want to go crazy with RGB and all this other stuff that doesn't add value in terms of performance. So whatever money I would have spent on RGB, I spent that ahead to get a kit of Vengeance LPX 3600 megahertz memory. This is very fast memory. Fast memory is important with Ryzen. This 3600 megahertz is like the sweet spot that's been found by all the tech people. This LPX RAM also has great compatibility with coolers because it's not very tall. And it's just really great RAM overall, solid RAM. So this is gonna help us get the most out of our Ryzen processor. And again, we can upgrade it later and add more. Now, as for storage, um, you could do this a couple of ways. I'm gonna use this Intel SSD 6. This is a one terabyte version. This is not the fastest M.2 drive out there, but it is one of the most affordable. Just barely over $100 US right now, and you get a terabyte of very high speed storage. So we're gonna build our storage on this. Finally is the case. Uh, MSI sent me over this Gungnir 100 case. This is gonna be a great case. It's a mid-tower ATX. There's a ton of cases out here similar to this. This is obviously a good case, and um, you'll see the build in it. If you want to use this one, it's in the parts list. Um, if you want other ones, there's a lot of other cases out there too. Just find you a good case that fits the parts that you intend to put into it. The B450 Tomahawk Max is an ATX motherboard. Almost all cases support ATX unless they are specifically meant to be small form factor. Um, just look at the airflow. You want to get a good case with good airflow. This one came with quite a few fans. I've got two fans in the front, one exhausting in the rear and one exhausting on the top. So this is gonna be good airflow for an air cooling build. That's really the most important thing. If you're gonna build an air cooled build, 
get a get a case that comes with enough fans to keep it cool. Um, there's options all the way from fifty uh, all the way up to one hundred and fifty dollars if you want. So there's really a lot of potential here for you to customize that as you see fit. So I'm going to wrap this first video up with a couple of closing thoughts while you get to look at the motherboard one more time here. So why did we pick these parts? They're going to provide great gaming, and all of them have an upgradability path. And that's all built off of this B450 Tomahawk Max. Again, we can pick any Ryzen chip out there right now, and it will work in this board right out of the box. That's why this is a great pick to start with. It means you all can customize that however you want. In this case, we're using that 3600. This is going to be exactly what we need for that gaming. Again, there's ways to modify it. If you want me to help you modify a specific version of this build, go down in the comments. Let me know what you're looking for. Budget up, budget down. I'll help you work out something of your own. Come back soon. I'm going to show you step by step how to build this computer. It's easy. Mrs. Air had never built a computer. I've had her do it with me. She now knows how to build a computer. Don't be worried if you've never done it before. There's nothing to be scared of. I'll teach you how to do it. Again, if you have any questions about the parts list, let me know. And I can't wait to see you very soon with the next video when we build an awesome gaming and streaming computer.